Hi, my name is Hani, and as most of you guys may know, I play the violin, and I currently study at the New England Conservatory in Boston. Now, most of you guys have seen me usually at church, and so I play a lot of church hymnals or church arrangements of songs. But today, I wanted to introduce to you guys um, more of a classical side of the violin, which I am currently studying. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to be able to show you guys all the different techniques that the violin ha is capable of. So people always ask me how, when I started the violin. And as you guys may also know, my mother is a pianist. So when I was little, I used to follow her around rehearsals. And I think so that's music has always been a part of my life. So as I grew up, it just continued to stay. And I originally started playing the piano as well with the violin at the age of four. But then I wasn't very good at piano. And so I decided to quit and then continue playing the violin. So now to introduce the piece and the composer that I will be playing for you today is arguably one of the most important composers who wrote for the violin repertoire in terms of technique. His name is Paganini and he was an Italian composer, but he was also a violinist. Now Paganini had this disorder where he had abnormally long limbs. So his fingers were longer than normal people's. So when he played the violin, he was able to do a lot of things that most of us normal people can't do. But he wanted to show off and show what he want, he could do and what he was capable of. So everything he could do, he wrote down for normal violinists. And while some of them are capable, they're not always the easiest to do. So the piece today that I'll be playing for you is Paganini's 24th Caprice. It's a piece that you guys may all know the theme of, but don't really know the rest of it. So, for example, the theme... You guys probably heard that, right? Before in either movies or commercials or videos. So that is the basically main theme that starts off the piece. But this caprice, the rest of the piece, um, has variations of that theme. So our every, um, I guess every section as you continue in the piece arguably gets harder and harder. So some of the techniques that are present in this caprice for example, are a lot of double stops. So double stops are when you play two or more notes on different strings. So I have four strings, so therefore a double stop would be either playing two notes or three notes or even all four. And that would be a double stop. And we have a lot of those in Paganini. One of the most noticeable ones are ones called octaves, which is where you play the same note but they're in different ranges. So I'll show you that. Same note, but two different ranges and very hard. The next type of double stops are what we call thirds. And so they're just in the intervals of thirds. but it's very hard to play. And then last is I think the most hardest out of all the double stops and they're called tets. And so they have an interval of tet. Like that. So then now there's another noticeable technique which is called pizzicato. So pizzicato is basically the motion of plucking with both of your fingers on the violin. So a normal pizzicato would be like this. Where actually you play with your right hand to play the notes on the string. But one technique that's upgraded from that is actually where you play left hand pizzicato. So instead of this hand, you use this 
to play. So like that. But then Paganini wants to make it even harder for us, and then he added notes in between those pizzicatos that we have to play with the bow. So it would sound like. some of the techniques that Paganini put into his 24th Caprice and arguably it is one of the most hardest pieces and Paganini is a very hard composer to play for the violin and it's very nice to listen to but it's very hard to play but it's a great challenge and it's a great opportunity for me to be able to show you guys and introduce to you guys a different side of the violin and music that maybe you guys have really thought in depth about. Thank you for listening and now here's my performance.